Hey, Christ Covenant Church, it's Pastor Jason, and I am looking forward to this upcoming Sunday. It's a big Sunday for us as we kick off our uh, Marriage Institute class at 9.30 on Sunday mornings, our Kids Institute classes at the same time, as well as our community groups start this Sunday night. And I am looking forward to starting a brand new series in the Gospel of John that we are simply calling That You May Believe. Because in the Gospel of John, John writes towards the end of the Gospel that he has written all that he writes in the Gospel of John that we may believe and have life in his name. And so in one way, it's an evangelistic book because it's a book about Jesus written in a way that we would would believe and have faith and salvation in him. But it is also a discipleship book, a book about growing in Christ because he says that you might believe and have life in his name. And isn't discipleship, the core of what discipleship and growing in Christ is, is learning to make Christ Lord in every aspect of our lives, learning to have life in his name. And so this week, as we start our journey through the Gospel of John, we are going to be in John chapter 1, and we're going to be looking at the first 18 verses, John 1, 1 through 18. Now, if John is the pillar of theological gospels, which it certainly is because it's John is, is written as the gospel that gives us the most insight about the nature and the character of God and how, how God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit relate to one another, if it is that, then these first 18 verses are the mountaintop of who Jesus is. When we think about Jesus and in, in his in the truth about Jesus, theology and the study of Jesus, you can see these first 18 verses as really a summary of all that the Gospel of John wants to teach us about who Jesus is and who we are in light of who Jesus is. That's another way to think about Christianity and think about the Christian life. The Christian life is Knowing who Jesus is, not only knowing mentally, but knowing in our hearts, emotionally and experientially, knowing who Jesus is, and then seeking to walk in line with uh, understanding who we are because of who Jesus is and what he has done for us. Now, we cannot get more to the core of what Christianity is than to understand who Jesus is. Now listen, I understand that these first 18 verses have such a depth of theology that we could spend a year just on these first 18 verses. Even last Christmas, we spent three weeks on these first 18 verses because as we talked about the incarnation of Jesus Christ. But what I want us to do in this sermon is I want us to see 12 truths about Jesus Christ Don't worry, it's going to be about the same length as any other sermon, but we're going to look at 12 truths about Jesus Christ that is really going to uh, help us summarize and introduce all that we're looking to see in the Gospel of John. But I pray that we would not just learn facts about Jesus, but in this, we would grow to not only believe and have faith and trust in the Son of God for all things, but that we would learn to have fullness of life in his name. So I'm praying for you this week. Read John 1, 1 through 18, and I will look forward to gathering to worship King Jesus this Sunday.